Philadelphia schools are on average 80 years old and constructed of toxic materials with inadequate spaces for modern education. The district students and educators and staff are exposed to an untold number of hazards in these buildings, including lead in the paint and drinking water pipes and asthma triggers such as vermin feces and damaged asbestos. The problem of toxic schools is not just a problem in Philly. It exists in New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Arizona, in rural areas of Mississippi, and tribal schools throughout the country. A study by Jeff Vinson at the Center for Cities and Schools at UC Berkeley and Mary Filardo of the 21st Century School Fund found that up to one-sixth of our population, 56 million students and educators and workers, are in school buildings every day. School buildings take up approximately 7.5 billion gross square feet. School facilities are found in every community in our country and have the possibility to be treated as the infrastructure that they are. We can redesign the schools to be healthy centers of communities instead of toxic centers of destruction. A Green New Deal for schools can make these healthy community infrastructure a reality. Legislation proposed by New York Congressman Jamal Bowman in July 2021 offers $1.4 trillion to address the solution. $669 billion for green retrofits. Retrofitting all of our 100,000 schools will reduce carbon emissions equivalent to removing 17 million cars off the road. It quadruples federal Title I and IDEA funding that currently addresses and targets our most vulnerable students. It provides $250 billion in resources to address issues such as high student-teacher ratios and putting in more culturally relevant cur curriculum. The Green New Deal for public schools is a way to address the brains and the bodies of our school facilities. We need a Green New Deal for schools because, frankly, there is no easier way to invest in our national infrastructure and have it produce the health, educational, and environmental benefits that this initiative could. Thank you.